Okay, listen, so <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Before you come for me, right, I'm, I'm going to need you to explain to me the purpose of being silent and not releasing any information to the public because I've never seen this before. Nobody else wants to say it because there are a lot of internet bullies out here, overly sensitive people, and some are triggered by this whole situation that happened with this young lady going missing and then showing up on her own back to her home, knocking the door or ringing the doorbell at close to midnight and no kidnapper in sight and no baby found walking on the highway and none of that stuff, right? For those of us who are saying, I have never seen a case in all my years where somebody was kidnapped and then the person raised an alarm. The whole country is looking for you, right? And then two days later, you show up at your own house on your own reconnaissance and you're not willing to give up any information. No description of what that kidnapper might look like. Um, even if you were blindfolded, did you see, uh, did you look down at the ground and see a pair of shoes? What was the size of the pair of shoes you saw? Did you hear a voice? Could you describe if there was a accent to the voice? Is she working with a composite sketch artist? Listen, none of us out here are, are, are fools, man. And nobody is trying to bully the family. Okay. But we have to ask these questions. These are legitimate questions that people are asking. Right now, you have a whole bunch of people that are saying, damn, everybody is caught up in this girl and this woman and her disappearance, and nobody is saying anything about the child that was seen on the highway. Like there's some baby out there that got kidnapped from somebody and they're using this baby to lure people into positions where they could kidnap them like th this there's a whole spin-off to this and for the fact and not to mention that you know if this is true where there's a kidnapper out there that's kidnapping women taking them away keeping them for days doing god knows what to them because she won't say and then releasing them so they go home on their own they could be out here looking for more victims at the moment the community she comes from could be in danger right now. If there's a kidnapper out there, she might be targeted again because that seemed like an easy kidnapping. She might be targeted again for somebody who wants to repeat that again. You know, um, I don't know. People are like flying down your throat, jumping all over your back because you're asking questions. Right now, a lot of money was donated to help towards finding her and that money is said to have to be returned to the people who donated the money there's one update hoover police department says that crime stoppers at the metro alabama said on monday that sixty three thousand dollars in reward money raised to help find carly russell isn't being returned to the donors despite her safe return. So $63,000 was donated to help find her. No one needed to use any of that money to help find her. She showed up on her own, but the money is raised already and is sitting somewhere, whoever gets it. Russell, 25 years old, she vanished in Hoover, Alabama last Thursday after calling 911 about a toddler that she saw wandering the highway and then she disappeared and then she reappeared at her own home 49 hours later on monday morning crime steps crime stoppers initially said that it would give back the sixty three thousand three hundred and seventy eight dollars to be exact donated during the search for the missing nursing student before saying in the afternoon that the money would not be returned. So in the morning, they're saying the money needs to be given back and they're going to give it back to each individual that gave money. Then by afternoon, they were saying the money was not going to be returned to anybody. 
This investigation is still ongoing, and accordingly, there is no basis to refund any contribution at this time, the organization announced. Furthermore, the Hoover Police Department has not requested for any donor contributions to be released or refunded. It's not clear how much of the money has since been returned, although the group website on Wednesday still displayed a notice of a award being offered for information about Russell's disappearance. Wow, even after she has been found, or even after she reappeared, should I say, uh, the, the website, Crime Stoppers website of Metro Alabama still had a message up till Monday afternoon saying, or up till Wednesday, matter of fact, still saying that there is a cash reward or a notice of a reward being offered for information about Russell's disappearance. I don't know, but this part of the story, I don't know. Check this out, right? Russell's mother is very defensive and I can understand being a mom and wanting to protect your child even if you know that your child did something wrong you know one of them kind of parents that they will never go hard on you in public but when you get in private they'll deal with you but in the public they'll stand up for you no matter what that's what her mom seems to be she has a beautiful home you know, we saw a picture of the house. It's gorgeous, big house. She looks like a Southern Belle type of female, um, growing up pretty easy. She's highly educated. She already has her bachelor's degree, and she is still going to school for more degrees, right? She's studying to become a registered nurse as well, has a bachelor's degree in human psychology, all this other stuff. She has her mom and her dad at home. She's not from a broken home, all this other stuff. And she's deeply rooted in her church and in her community and all that. So whatever they're hiding or whatever they're refusing to tell the public, I'm guessing that, it, and, and I don't want to be insensitive, but come on now, if something happened, right you can minus the details if 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 you were sexually assaulted or anything like that but people at least need to know you should be at this point of the game you should be sitting down with a composite sketch artist from the police department and they should be drawing up some kind of a sketch of some individual that's out there that's a danger to others because look at what he did to you you know and none of that's happening so the mother of Carly Russell, the 25-year-old Alabama woman who returned home last Saturday, 48, 49 hours after disappearing along the interstate 5459 in Hoover, said that the family will not be bullied into giving more information about her case. Everybody wants to know what happened, give a statement, say something. And she's like, we're not saying anything. And we're not going to say anything until she is ready to say something, until she is healed, until she is physically ready, spiritually ready, all these kinds of readies. Russell disappeared on Thursday while driving home from work. She was reportedly on her way to pick up some dinner when she called 911 and a family member and told them that she had seen a toddler walking alone on a highway of the interstate, right? Now, I mean, she added that she was stopping to help the child and her red Mercedes Benz was seen with its flashers on the shoulder lane of the I-459 on traffic camera footage. Right. Police called to the scene were found where they found her abandoned vehicle and no trace of her. After a frantic 48-hour search, Russell returned to her parents' home on foot on saturday i said this when she returned i said more investigation is going to be done this is modern times it's 2023 she lives in a pretty nice neighborhood um it looks a bit upscale as well i'm guessing that most of these homes probably have cameras around their property if not doorbell cameras but cameras around their property so they'll be able to tell if a vehicle drove in to the community dropped her off and disappeared and left her say five houses down from her house and then she walked in none of that was seen 
The only thing that's been reportedly seen on camera was her walking through her own neighborhood by herself. She was then brought to a local hospital where she was treated and later released and gave Hoover Police Department a statement that has not been shared to the public as yet. Russell's boyfriend, Thomas Simmons, talked to her, um, talked about her fighting for her life for 48 hours after her return and he mentioned a kidnapper. However, the Hoover police has not mentioned anything about a kidnapper and or any information about a missing child or a child that could possibly have ended up on the highway up to this very moment, right? So it seems like those two things are elusive, the kidnapper and the child that was supposed to be seen on the highway. The lack of further information as the investigation continues, as well as no further action over a kidnapper on the loose or a missing toddler, has sparked rumors and speculations on social media. A lot of people are saying she made this up. Listen, she made this up. That's what a lot of people are saying, that she made this up for whatever reasons. I saw one place where it said that she did this on purpose to get back at her boyfriend um, because he had he was breaking up with her to go be with somebody else, a stripper or some kind of girl. You know how social media is. They talk a lot and sometimes people get it right. And sometimes people are far off and they're just making up some salacious story, whether it's to sell views or get views or it's to just keep people talking. You know the rumor mill, how it goes once it starts spinning, right? So on one angle, I don't really blame her mom for being so hard ass about this. Like nobody is going to hear anything from us unless we want you to hear it. And you're not going to bully any extra information out of us. We're keeping whatever is going on to ourselves until our daughter is in the right state of mind. And not only that, this is a ongoing investigation still. That's pretty much what her mom is saying, right? Some accused her of faking her own kidnapping and others have turned against true crime fans for questioning the details of the case. Like I said, there are people online that are ready to cuss you out. Eh, shut the F up. Leave that girl alone. Some of them, most of them are black women. And these black women are like, oh, I bet you if it was a white girl, you would have believed everything that she said. But just because it's a black woman, you don't want to believe anything she says. Oh, man, I'm telling you, the black woman is the most, the least protected. You know, all that is coming out right now because you're not allowed to say something doesn't seem right about this. Okay. Now. To all the people who have endured being trafficked, kidnapped, kidnapping, those who have made it back, those who are still missing, real victims who are going through issues, this is not to make light of that situation in any way, shape, or form. And I want that to be understood. But this is a case-by-case -case basis. And what we do know is that people do things for different reasons sometimes people do things and they don't think that it's going to blow up this big get this much notoriety and attention and all of a sudden you find yourself in the middle of a media storm and a whirlwind which is not what you wished for right so now it gets harder and harder to actually just be truthful and said hey I was going through a bad breakup, I needed a break, uh, or I was hurting, I just needed two days to get away, or a couple of hours to get away, or I planned this and I'm sorry, you know, I don't know. But at the end of it all, if you plan something like this, usually the city can press charges against an individual for planning something like this. That's just the law. Now. It's not just internet um, sleuths demanding more information. Residents of the area in which she lives, according to this report, calling on the police. They're like, yo, you guys are the police. You need to give us some kind of information. We pay our taxes around here, right? 
We want to know that we are safe. Is there some assailant still roaming around in our area that might be out here kidnapping people? We need to know this. So they're coming down hard on the police department from her area as well. Man, listen. And no information is coming to the public from the police department or from the family. However, Russell's family is resisting releasing more information for the sake of both the ongoing investigation and her well-being. I like that part. They are resisting releasing more information. Here's the thing. They never released any information. <laughs> they never released any information. She came home. She was missing and she came home and that's it. And nothing that she said has been found to be proven. Where's the baby? We don't know. Nothing she said. You were kidnapped. Where's your kidnappers? We don't know. Could you at least tell us what they said to you? Um, did they have an accent? Could you describe what they look like if you got a glimpse to see? Was it multiple people or was it one guy with a gun or a knife or something like that? I mean, what are we looking for? Is this a big old tall husky guy or is this some skinny guy who's scared? Uh, I mean, say something, right? Nothing is being said and nothing was ever said. Her mother, Talitha Robinson Russell, she released a statement saying that no matter how many demands or false narratives that are produced, we will not be bullied into doing anything that will compromise our daughter's mental well-being or this investigation. Robinson Russell appealed to the public to respect her family's privacy, thanking them for their support when her daughter was missing. I guess they're still enjoying their daughter being home, which any parent would. Now, addressing rumors about what had happened to the thousands of dollars that were donated in support for her search, Robinson Russell, the mom, said that the money that was given to Crime Stoppers at Metro Alabama will be returned to each donor, which Hoover police officers have confirmed. Robinson Russell also denied the existence of any GoFundMe campaign that was set up by the family. That's another rumor that was out there. Have her go hide out somewhere. Set up a GoFundMe. The GoFundMe hits a hundred thousand, a million dollars, whatever. By the time she gets back home, we'll be rich. I mean, we live in a weird world, but she confirmed that no such thing ever happened. Robinson Russell, who is the mom, said that her daughter has sp has spoken off an abductor. Her she okay. Now is the first time I've heard her say it. Her daughter has spoken of an abductor. Now us looking in from the outside, we want to know what did she say? Did she say it was a white man? Did she say it was a black man? Did she say it was an Hispanic man, an Asian man? I mean, what did she say? Was it even a man, or was it a group of women? We don't know, but we want to know. Just as her boyfriend had written about on Instagram, my daughter has said the same thing, spoken about an abductor, a kidnapper. Carly has given detectives her statement and hopefully they are pursuing her abductor, her mom wrote. Now, here's the thing. Usually when the police officers are pursuing a suspect, again, back to a composite sketch artist, and then back to video cameras, so on and so forth, trying to find somebody who might have been in the area uh, around that given time, etc., etc. Nothing. Nothing's been given to the public. So, and usually, law enforcement likes to get the community involved, right? So you come up with a composite sketch based on her description. You put a, a, a face out there, a look out there, and then the phone calls start coming in. Hey, we saw a guy around that same time, around that day, that looked like that picture of the composite sketch. And actually, I just saw him again today up at the grocery store on 41st in Maine, so on and so forth. Some kind of information from the public that could lead you in a direction to where you could possibly lay hands on or catch this so-called kidnapper or abductor. Carly was giving detectives her story and hopefully they're pursuing her abductor is what her mom said. 
it will be up to law enforcement to determine what information they want to release to the public and when they want to release this information as to not compromise the investigation. Here is my question again. I have never seen a kidnapping happen where the victim shows up but is not allowed to give any information. It makes no sense. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you think that this was a hoax? Do you think that she planned this and uh, it backfired? Do you think that there's something else involved here? Or do you think that she was actually kidnapped for real and she probably did see a toddler walking down the side of the road, the highway, for real. I, 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 I'm, I'm confused. But I'll keep following the story just for y'all and for myself too because I really want to know what happened. All I'm saying, if this was made up, man, hmm, listen, oh, what tangled web we weave. Sometimes it's best to just say up front, be truthful, get it over with, you know, whatever the consequences may be. But when the more you string something along, the deeper you dig, the more people get invested. And then by the time the truth comes out, everybody is against you. So I hope that's not the case in this situation. Anyhow, like, comment, share, subscribe, leave your comments in the comment section below. I really want to hear from you guys what you think about this. And I'll catch you on the next video. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.